Let me show you this Vox poll on millionaires. It has some interesting stuff in there. By a wide gap, 72% to 19%, voters polled say it was unfair that billionaires got wealthier during the pandemic. 72%. That conclusion is shared across all racial, partisan, socioeconomic, and other demographic groups. This unease is reflected in questions that speak to Americans more generalized opinions about the top 1%, which were generally shared across the political spectrum. Only 23% of those polled said they consider billionaires to be good role models for the country, while 65% said they don't. Similarly, only 36% said they gen had generally positive feelings about billionaires, as opposed to 49% who said they did not. That's fascinating. Now, I will caution you, there is some contradictory stuff in the poll. Like, people, when they go on to talk about, like, solutions, then people are totally lost, they don't know what the answers are, and... They even end up defending the concept of billionaires. Like, yeah, it's fine. Somebody should be able to come, become a billionaire. So there's still remnants of, like, you know, not f a fully left ideology in the American people. But we've definitely moved more in the direction of people being skeptical of power, skeptical of billionaires. The fact that they got phenomenally more wealthy during COVID and everybody else is struggling, that was sort of a light bulb moment for Americans. And they were like, oh, oh. Well, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem just. Yes. So what I take away from this poll is one very simple fact. People are on to the myth of meritocracy. Despite some other contradictory numbers in the same poll and, you know, they're not down the line left. But these numbers specifically from this poll show me that people are on to the fact that we don't live in a meritocracy. That it's not as simple as the harder you work, the further you go. I think there was a time in American history where people would have believed that. Now, I don't have the data to back it up, or I haven't seen data to back that up, but there was a time when the system was a little bit more fair, the golden age of economic expansion comes to mind, where we had a thriving middle class, and if you ask people, I think they would, they would articulate this idea that, yeah, if they're a billionaire, they just worked really hard, and that's how they got there. Now, people are like, I don't know about all that, man. That seems a little ridiculous. How can you really earn a billion dollars? What does that even mean to earn a billion dollars? You earn it in the context of a market system. And in order to get there within the market system, you need to be the most shameless. You need to be willing to exploit workers to a phenomenal degree. I mean, listen, this makes the argument for unionization, for example. This makes the argument for larger companies being more democratically controlled. You know, uh, perhaps I differ from some lefties where I think the smaller the company, the smaller the business. I'm not offended by the traditional hierarchy, as long as there's regulations and rules and people are treated fairly, of course. But when you get to the bigger corporations, it does feel like you need to have something to fix the balance of power, where there's either got to be unionization across the board, or there's got to be, they got to be worker-owned co-ops and more democratic control, some sort of market socialist approach. Um, because, yeah, the bigger the company gets, generally, the more exploitation there is, and that's unacceptable. You know, you have to mitigate the downsides of that through policy. So, but yes, people are onto it. Some of the hardest working people I've ever met, ever, were living in poverty. There was a guy I knew in high school, worked two jobs, still was probably living in poverty, barely afford rent. One of the hardest working people I ever knew. Worked like six, six days of the week, nonstop. And I remember watching how much he went through and thinking, like, Jesus, Christ, there's got to be a better system than this. There's got to be. This guy, need, they need to, minimum wage needs to be higher, or unionization needs to be across the board, or something. Because this is not, this is not okay. You know, in this country, we sort of define ourselves through our economic life. Um, that becomes a crucial part of your identity. But we got to, like, we got to think about a new way of doing it. At the very least, tweaks to fix this system, but more, you know, substantial, fundamental reform is necessary. And again, what the pandemic is doing is showing us that people are sort of on to billionaires. And by the way, it's billionaires and corporations who really run the system, just so you know. I mean, you guys already know that. But Wall Street really runs the show. The military-industrial complex really runs the show. Politicians are largely puppets of the people with the real power. And the real power is the capital. And so billionaires and corporations really are the ones who run the show. And as soon as people realize 
it's not a meritocracy. They didn't just earn it to get there. They're not just better than everybody else. As soon as people realize that, it's game on, son, and it's time for real reform.